we're back again for another episode of board games or card games in this instance. Yep. Um, Michelle. Yep. Have you ever traveled through time? Like backwards. I, I guess in time? we're always traveling through time, just in the same direction, all at the same speed. Have you ever traveled backwards in time? No, I haven't okay. traveled backwards. Um, well, in this game, you can. It's something that I like to call, or the creators of the game called, Chrononauts. All right. So, in this game, you're a bunch of time travelers going back in time to affect various points in history. And I'll go ahead and show off. Timeline cards. So, these are the timeline cards. They'll be um, basically ordered out in chronological history, starting with uh, 1865 with the assassination of, assassination of Lincoln, and all the way to 1999 with the uh, Columbine shooting and you know various other important events. And history in between. So there's three ways you can win the game. Mm -hmm. The first one is to fulfill your ID. Yep. Which has, you can see here, there's like different dates you need to do. Yeah. So the blue is the original date. So this is 1948, Israel was founded. And then the orange are, are going to be the like alternate, alternate dates. Yeah, the alternate events of history that you'll change. So 1968. It says the Vietnam Peace Court was assigned, which obviously we know it's an alternate. And in 1986, marijuana became legalized. So, which, which we know did not happen. Did not happen because most states still are not legalized. <laughs> yeah. So, you can either get all three of these, make sure they're all down on the mm -hmm. board, or you can collect whatever your mission calls for. So this one calls for certain artifacts, and I'll go over with those. There's a bunch of different artifacts. Yeah. And there's a bunch of these. Yeah, you're just kind of yeah. given one at random. Yeah, there's a bunch of different versions. So you're, depending on what character you are, you're trying to match the different versions of history. And then here's all the different missions. Yeah, and there. you're trying to collect the various different artifacts, um, which you do through the power of this deck. This is the deck you use to basically manipulate the game. Manipulate the timeline, manipulate the artifacts. Um, so like here's a here's what's called a patch card. It's an cards alternate you. version of 1917. Um, so normally America did go in World War Two, or sorry, World War One. They also entered World War One, but or they didn't enter both World Wars. But this alternate history is President Wilson keeps the U.S. out of the war, which you know. So you so you want to um, if your character calls for this alternate history, you want to play this. And so the way you do that is see these dates on here. So when this is flipped, when this history is changed from Lincoln assassinated to Lincoln is wounded, these his these histories here are changed. So 1886, which would normally be Andrew Johnson impeached will become paradoxed. So you would need the alternate 1886 cards to fix the paradox, which are, you know, these types of the cards. The orange ones. Yeah. And then here's all the different yeah. types of cards. Yeah, so, the two, so to, to manipulate the timeline, you need what's called an inverter, and this is just reverse fate. So you apply this on any, any card that's labeled linchpin, and there are various linchpins. So any, There's like eight or yeah, nine Yeah, any of, of these kind of darker purple cards are what are called linchpins, so you can play those and then affects the dates listed here. And then those become paradoxed and then you need those patch cards to fix the paradoxes. Then we also have the artifacts. Um, most artifacts don't do anything on their own, but depending on what mission card you need, you need to collect them to win. Um, you have these gadgets, this just kind of give you extra abilities. Like this one lets you play um, there are various different types of reverse fates or inverters cards. This one just kind of gives you more flexibility on your, your inverters. Then there's the action cards, which are done in green. And there's multiple different ones like this one. This one lets you draw two cards and then pick one. There are a couple different ones. There's one that's like a time hop where you can travel back and forth and collect yeah. things you need. 
like I'll try and find another one. There's get there first, which is you basically steal an artifact or a gadget from someone. So it's like you went back in time before them to get the item. Um, and then there are the, uh, there are the, the time warp cards. We'll yeah. let you basically manipulate cards that are it basically must let you manipulate these cards so you can right so this one instead of drawing one on every turn this one says draw two and play two right instead of draw one rewind it lets you play a card that was already played and then there's one that lets you draw a card in the draw pile like go through it and actually draw yeah. a card you so need. it's just a way to um get cards that have already been played or get the card that you need um and they're, they're pretty simple you just read the card and do what they say <laughs> Um, if all this is confusing, hopefully it will be more clear when we actually show off the game, which we will do, I think, right now. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep. All right. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. So this is Chrononauts after it's all set up. Uh, as you can see, all these cards are in chronological order. Uh, starting in 1865 with the assassination of Lincoln. And ending and, in 1999 with the Columbine mm -hmm. High School Columbine mm -hmm. High School massacre. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> and then all the important timeline Dates events in between. between. Yep. Um, so Michelle and I each have our mission cards and ID cards. Yep. One of two ways for us to win the game, and these are secret to the other person. So I'll know mine, and she'll know hers, but we won't know each other's. And then we have our three cards to start the game with. Okay. And we've gone over the cards in the intro. Yeah. So if you missed that, which was just a few minutes ago, go back and watch it again. It was literally right before this happened. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'll start the game, I guess, or you can go first. I can go first? Okay. Yeah. So rules are you play a card. Uh, well, first, actually, the way this game determines who goes first is whoever can guess the clo closest to the time without looking at like a clock or something? It's currently about 6.30. I don't know, but you'll just go first. It is 6.28. Okay. All right. I only know because I just got home. Um, all right. So, rules are always draw one card, which I did. And then, so I have four cards in my hand. I have to at least play one card, or I can trash two and draw another. Right. Or you can just ditch one. Or I can just trash one. Depending on really what I need. So we're trying to go based off the ID or the mission. These yep. are the only two ways you can win. Or by having 10 cards in your hand. Which is like, right. Which is like the default way. Right. So looking at what I have, I'm actually going to reverse fate. Here, I'm going to put them over here because I don't think you guys can see them up top. So reverse fate. Flip any linchpin. So right. the purples are the linchpins. Right. Pretty much I'm changing time. history yeah. and time. So I'm actually, we're going to stop the bombing of Pearl Harbor here. Okay. So Bear with us as we flip these cards because they're all kind of close. So now the raid on Pearl Harbor has been called off by Tokyo. So that changes 1944. Which is D-Day, which makes sense. And um, 1945. Which is the atomic bomb. Okay. So these two are now paradoxed. So we have to play a patch card to fix the paradoxes. Correct. And we have to have one of those in our hand. So now that's the end of my turn. I've drawn one and I've right. played one. All right. So just move that out of the way. Okay. So because your 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 artifacts will go there. I know. I just know they can't see it. All right. Um. So my turn. So I'll draw my one card. Uh, what do I need? Okay. Um, so I'll just play this artifact, Shakespeare's last play. Um, it doesn't do anything on its own, but my mission card may call, may call for it. That's my turn. All right. In which case, I will draw a card. <sighs> now I gotta play one, or I gotta get rid of one, or... I am going to play a gadget. I have a teeny tiny time machine. So if you have this gadget on the table, which it now is, any inverter you play, which is one of the yellow cards, will work as a reverse fate. Right, because there are some inverters 
that are only applied to specific dates. Right. But the reverse fate applies to, to any. Any, any date, yeah. All right, so. So it's my turn now, so I'll draw my one card. Um... I'll reverse fate, and I'm going to, I think this is, so Hitler opens the 36 Olympics, is now Adolf Hitler assassinated. Oh my gosh, look how many dates we <laughs> yeah. have to change. So, yeah. 39. We like so... to call that one the H-bomb, because it changes so many dates. So, 39, 42, 42. 44, which is already which flipped. Is already 45, flipped. which is already flipped. And it's all World War II. 48. Yeah. yeah. It's all yeah, World so War this II was a, stuff. This is a big one because it affects five dates. I didn't even notice that. Okay. So it is now my turn. Mm-hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Hi, I'm just going to play... I have some articles here or artifacts i'm just gonna play one i have the crown of thorns which was originally worn by you know who is literally what the card says so all right my turn yep this card uh so i'm gonna play a patch card oh and if there's ever 13 paradoxes on the field the game's over everybody loses so right now we have five five but i'm gonna patch one of them with uh, Ultimate 1945 World Peace. Uh, for once, for a little while, there's no war anywhere. Um, only playable if um, this is flipped and this is flipped. They are both flipped, so I can play that. So I, since I played a patch card, I draw a card. That's right. Every time you play a patch, you get to draw again. All right. So that's one of the. F that's how you get up to ten cards in your hand. Just one, which is the default way to win. Now, the first time we played, we got cards we didn't even know how yeah. we got them. We weren't counting very well. All right, I have flipped my card. I am gonna patch 1939. Okay. So fair goers now love German cake. Now that I patched, I get to draw again. Yes. And that's your turn. And that is my turn. All right. It's my turn. I'll draw a card. Uh, let me just consult my mission. And... Okay. So I'm going to play a patch, an alternate 1942. Okay. The Nuremberg Laws Repealed. So I'll draw a card because I played a patch. And now it's Michelle's turn. All right. Um, I don't want to play that. I don't want to quite play that yet either. Okay, I'm going to halt and attack. So this only affects certain... This only affects the top three? Yeah. Because you guys will... If you see the yeah, rest of these, these are, down here, these are... These are from an expansion that we're not playing with, so we'll just... Ignore these and only focus on this. So part. I can halt and attack. I have the Lestania, Pearl Harbor, or Waco. Ooh. Well, I was only alive for one of those, but <laughs> um, let's look. Wait a minute. Pearl Harbor is already flipped, so I can't do that. No. Yeah. Uh, Lestania. Okay, then we're gonna do that one. Uh. Okay, so that flips 1917. 1915. Oh, wait. Yeah. Now I got to do 1917. And 1933. 33, which is the Depression, yeah. Um, this actually only flips if 1912 and 1915 are flipped. Okay, well, 12 so, is not flipped. Yeah, so this is... Okay, Travis's turn. Okay. Um... We will go ahead and restore history. So what this does is going to flip one of these ones back to its original state. Oh. So we're going to save Hitler's life. <laughs> so now... That's right, he'll die in a few yeah. years anyway. <laughs> so now all these are going to flip back. So 1939 is going to flip back, so that will fall off. 42. Yeah. Why did you save Hitler? <laughs> 
48. Well, actually, this one will... Yeah, this one will flip. They'll all flip. Yeah. That will go away, and this will flip back. So when you do something like that, the patches come off. Yeah. Which I didn't know the first time I played, so... And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to draw one. Yeah, because you're changing history back to the original state, okay. so those replacements go away. I am going to... I'm trying to see what all my missions and everything are. I'm trying to figure out where I am. Um, I think I am going to, I can't patch anything. I'm going to reverse fate. Okay. Flip a linchpin. Flip a linchpin. What do I want to flip? I don't know. <laughs> Kennedy's assassination. So you're going to save Kennedy's life. I'm going to save Kennedy's life. Okay. So, I... so Kennedy has now been injured. So 68, which is Martin Luther King and Robert F. Kennedy. 69. 69, which is Apollo. And 74. So this one needs and. It needs JFK okay. and Lincoln. So this okay. one stays. So that one stays for now. So my turn. Yep. Draw my card. Read this. All right. Um, we are going to. What do I need here? We're going to discard two cards to draw one. So get rid of those and draw one. And that's my turn. Also, the discard pile can be looked at at any time. Yeah, because there are cards that let you pull cards out of the discard. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, pull a new card. And... I am going to play Time Warp. Which is quick trip to the future. Scurry into the future and get what you need, then come back to this moment so nobody knows you were there. Look through the draw pile, choose a card, anything other than a time warp, and play it. And play it. And reshuffle the deck. Yeah. Okay. Basically, she'll just get whatever she needs for her one of her missions or one yep. of her win conditions. Oh, but I have to play it, right? You have to play it. I can't. <laughs> okay. No, I know what I'm going to do. You have to get something you can play. Got it. All right. Got it. So I played an artifact, Lost Ark of the Covenant, currently sealed up in big wooden crate, but it is gold according to this. <laughs> in case you guys can't read all the... And then it does say shuffle yeah. and then put back. But so we won't spend too much time shuffling. No, I just shuffle it once. Yeah, that's fine. All right. In a real game, we'd probably shuffle a little bit more, but that's fine. Okay, so now it's my turn. Yep. So I'll draw my card. So I'm going to play this card called Get There First, Steal an Artifact or a Gadget from a Player. So I'm going to take that awkward covenant you just got because I have a feeling you need that to win. So I'm going to take it so you don't win. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw a card. No. Uh, okay. 
um, I am going to play... No, no. Reverse Fate. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen now in this world? Um, we are only three Paradoxed? Yeah, we got Paradox to spare. Plenty of options. I'm looking for numbers to get them to match up later. John Lennon murdered. Becomes. Becomes John Lennon John nearly, nearly killed. killed. 86. So that will Challenger flip. explosion and Columbine High School Master. So those are paradoxed. Okay. That's and then my turn. Yep, your turn. Top card. Uh, I'm just going to play this live Triceratops. Triceratops artifact. Okay. So I got a dinosaur. Her name is Sarah. I'm going to play Get There First. Steal an artifact and a gadget. Or a gadget. Give me back my lost art. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're only at five. Um, I'm going to play this Rewind. Remove any card. Um, yeah. Remove any card from the discard pile and play immediately. So I'll just play this to get there first and retake that. <laughs> Ark of the Covenant. All right. And that's my turn. Draw. I'm going to play an artifact. Okay. Sports Almanac from the future. All right. My turn. Draw a card. I'll just play this other dinosaur. <laughs> and now I have a live, a, a live Tyrannosaurus and a live Triceratops. Okay. Got two of them. I'm going to draw a card. I'm gonna play a patch. Yep, the years match. Okay, marijuana is now legalized. Okay. So you draw your card? I. Do you draw a card for I playing? Did. Oh, no, I get another one. That's yeah. right. Okay. It's my turn. Mm hmm. Um. Let's go ahead and just reverse fate. Yeah. And we will re-kill John Lennon. So this will fall off and 1999 will, 99. will reset. Okay. All right. All right. Draw a card. Do, do, do. Nope. Okay, I'm going to do Perform a Miracle. All right. So I'm going to discard one artifact that is face up in front of me. I only have two. Uh, then setting your hand aside, draw two, play one, discard one. Okay. I'm going to get rid of my sports almanac. I'm going to draw two. Play one of those. And play one of those. Okay. My turn? Yep. Um, I'll play this patch card. 1969. All right. Yeah. Yep. Cosmonauts orbit the moon. Draw my card for playing patch. And it's Michelle's turn. All right.
All right, I'm gonna avert disaster. And the Hindenburg's going down. You mean you're saving the Hindenburg? Oh, I'm saving it, sorry. <laughs> it already went down. Yeah, so you're, that changes 1950 uh, over here. Okay, which is... So Seoul, Seoul captured by North Korea is now paradoxed. Okay. So my turn, I'll draw this card. Um, I will play this other patch. Vietnam Peace Signed Accord. All right. Um, I'll draw a card. Okay. But that's going to be the end of the game because I have matched my I was so close. ID. So, okay. All right. Yeah. So I was Betty. She needed 1945 to stay original, which it was. 1968. The alternate 1968. And the alternate 1969. So Darn I, it, I almost had it too. So I reached my, uh, my my ID goal. I was Israel. Yeah. Alternate 68. And I had alternate 86. And you flipped that's it back. It. Yeah, I had a feeling that's why you picked him. Because you needed it. Yeah. So. And then for my, for my mission. Yeah. I needed the Lost Covenant. The Crown of Thorns. <laughs> And I had the videotape right here. Okay. Oh, did you need the videotape too? Uh-huh. Because I also needed the videotape. Oh, I have it. It's in here. And then I also needed, for my mission, I needed the uh, your newspaper. Oh, jeez. So <laughs> we had... Uh, so that's Chrononauts. It's pretty fun, I think, because you're constantly changing time and killing and re-killing. Killing, saving, re-killing, and re-saving <laughs> historical figures. So, yeah. That's fun. game. Yep. Alrighty, thanks guys. Alright, All right, so you just watched us play Chrono Knots, and I end up winning that one. Um, Sean, what do you think? I like it. Um, it took me a little bit of time at first to kind of get used to how the gameplay worked, because in the previous time we played it before we filmed it, somehow I kept getting extra cards in my hand. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out how. Like, I would start with four, and then I'd end up with six. At the end of the turn, and that's yeah. not supposed I, to happen. I don't think we mentioned in the intro that um, if you ever get up to ten cards in your hand, you also win that way. So, if for whatever reason you you can't get the timelines to match, or you can't get your artifacts, you can just go for playing patch cards to draw extra cards and try and get ten cards that way to win. Because normally, you should always have the same number of cards on your turn that you started with. So if you start your turn with three cards, you should end your turn with three cards. If you start your turn with six cards, you should end your turn with six cards. But the patch cards let you... Let you draw let extra. You draw extra cards. So, so it's just always yeah. making sure that you have what you started with at the end yeah. of the turn. Unless, like I said, you play a patch card. Right. Um, but otherwise, I liked it. Yeah, so like with most games that we play here, they're better with more than two people. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because it's it gives more opportunities for disruption, um, which makes games more chaotic, which in my opinion makes games more fun. Um, and you can actually cause someone else to win. So like if you play a patch card and that's someone else's win condition, that can cause them to win. It didn't show it didn't come up in our game. I ended up playing the two cards I needed to match my timeline. Right. Um, I think you were pretty close too, right? I was close, yeah, because yeah. there was one thing that I needed that I had, and then you reversed it. Right. So I didn't get it. So, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing with, so like, there's not just, like, four or five different IDs or missions. There's, like, 12. Yeah. So there's just like, look at the yeah, draw. So, yeah, you're going to be a different character with a different timeline and, and a different mission every game. So it's a lot of replayability. And, again, with more people, it's a lot more fun. Um, yeah, overall, it's a great game. Uh, simple. It, it's a little, it can take a little use, getting used to because with the timeline, you have to make sure everything matches. You know, if one car, yeah. if one time is flipped over, you have to make sure all the other corresponding times are flipped over. Flipped correctly. So you're constantly having to manage the timeline, which can get a little annoying. But um, once you get in the rhythm of it, it's not that bad. Um, anyway. I think that's it. That's uh, Chrononauts, and we'll yep. go ahead and link it yeah, down. Yeah, if you in like the, the game, go to your local shop if you have one. If not, I'll I will link the uh, Amazon um, page to you on the video description. All that's right. it. Yep.
I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.